Hey, um, good afternoon, good evening, maybe even good morning if you're watching this on Thursday. But uh, this is Dan Fitzpatrick, and I want to talk about Moderna. And this is why. I wouldn't buy this stock here. The only place, ser I'm serious about this, the only place I would buy this stock wouldn't be at 143.20. It would be right up here. And here's why. Because, I mean, you guys know the story on Moderna, uh, biotech company, uh, vaccine for, uh, for COVID, um, emergency approval, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all good. Um, the problem, of course, is that the stock first broke out back here and ran clear up to here. Last time, uh, last time I checked, a move from uh, like 75, 77 bucks up to 177 that's a pretty good move, especially if it happens within a month. So when we get this kind of gap up and then reversal, then you have to look at this and say, okay, well, that's the last of the Mohicans. The last buyers came in yesterday. That was that. They bought the stock stupidly, but what are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> so they bought the stock and the stock was immediately sold. So what happens to all those people? These are now losers, and I don't, that's not a pejorative term. I mean that all of these folks that bought, and this was just yesterday on the first, they are not happy that they own this stock. They're upside down, some of them buy a lot. And so as the day goes on, as the days go on, and this is a 15 minute chart, you're gonna see more and more of these people selling their stock. They're going to kind of be selling into this. Any kind of buying, they're going to be selling into this. And that's going to make the stock, we'll go back to the daily, it's going to make the stock really heavy. Uh, certainly right around 150, but even if the stock breaks through 150, remember you've still got all of this mess up here. A lot of, sell, a lot of reluctant and ticked off bulls own the stock and now they're not bulls. They're kind of bears and they just want out. That is why I look at this at 143 and I'm thinking you're buying the stock from somebody who's selling it and they're not happy about it. But on the other hand, who's in front of you? Who's ahead of you? It's all of these traders who wish that they were out of the stock. That is why I say rather than buy it at 143, I would rather buy it at 178, even though that's what, 23, 24% higher than it is right now. The reason I would wait to buy it up there is if the stock breaks out above yesterday's intraday high of 178.50, everybody's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who's ahead of you? Nobody. Nobody is ahead of you saying, God, I can't wait to sell my stock and break even. There are a lot of people be beside you, folks that ultimately like you are going to take profits, but when you get rid of this ceiling, when you get rid of all of these sellers, they're done. The reason you know they're done is because the stock's moving above those levels. Once you get above there, then it's all green. It All it is is we can say blue sky, you're looking at a green background, whatever. We can look at this and say that is when I want um, to own the stock. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well. I could just buy it here, hold it, and then when it breaks out above here, then I'll buy some more, and then I'll really make a bunch of money. Okay, well, here's what's wrong with this. You're saying when the stock breaks out. What if it doesn't do that? What if it falls all the way back to here? If this thing fell back to 100 bucks and held, it would really still be okay. You know, you just look at the stock up here and then uh, anybody who understood trading would look at all the folks here and say, wow, I'll bet they sure got hosed. I'll buy the stock down here. So um, the stock could fall quite a bit. But the other thing is, if you're looking to do this, then you're also deciding that what's more important than making money is you being right. All I want to do is make money, the easy money. You know, if I can make 5%, 10%, 50%, I don't care where I make that money from. I don't care where, you know, if I make it up here or if I make it here. The only thing is, this is easier money to make than this. 
All right, so that's all I got for you. I'm telling you how I would trade Moderna. And to put it another way, this trade is over for the time being. You're done. Just get out of it. If the stock runs up again, even if it runs up to new highs, I will tell you that this is still the right call. I can't predict, but I can manage risk. And this is risk management. You're done. You need to wait for the stock to regroup, okay? Don't be the lemming that sits there for too long while everybody else is selling this stuff. What good news can come out that's not already news? And is it enough to push the stock to new highs? I'm kind of thinking that it's not. So anyway, that's it. Um, by the way, I'm teaching a class next week. <clears throat> You'll probably be getting a, an email sometime soon. But I'm teaching a class um, on uh, on basically differentiating between tops and high bases that ultimately move higher. This is going to be a good class. I've actually been working on it for a while. You have to be a member. And so, but you don't have to pay me any money. Uh, if you haven't been a member before, then you just sign up for the free 30-day trial. You look at that class. You take that class. You ask me questions. I'm right there for you. And then if you want to stick around, great. If you don't, um, that's okay. I don't know who's in or who's out, so I will never take it personally. But I definitely want you to check out that webinar. So members, I know you're coming. I'll be continuing to tell you to come. But if you're just on the free chart list and you haven't taken the plunge, take the plunge. Just sign up for the free trial. It literally costs you nothing. The only thing that's going to happen to you is um, you'll walk away as a better trader. And like, how bad can that be? All right, see you next time.